Peter Britton Tobin was born on 27 August 1946, in Johnston, Renfrewshire, Scotland. A serial killer and sex offender sentenced to serve the rest of his life behind bars. He served time in prison for forgery in 1970. He served 10 years for burglary, and the indecent assault of two young girls, in 1983. He was released in 2004. Arrested three years later, and inevitably sentenced to serve life behind bars, for the rape and murders committed between 2006 and 2009. Join me, as we explore the life and crimes of Peter Tobin. Welcome, to Simply Told. In 1969, Peter weds his 17-year-old girlfriend, Margaret Louise Robertson Mountney. But the marriage was short-lived as they separate the following year, finalizing the divorce in 1971. He later marries 30-year-old Sylvia Jeffries, in 1973. But like before, this marriage also fails. Ending in 1976. Peter's next wife was Kathy Wilson. They tie the knot in 1989. Not long afterwards, Kathy would give birth to a son. The next year the couple moves to Bathgate, West Lothian, Scotland. But later that same year, Kathy leaves Peter and and moves back home, in Hampshire. His ex-wives recall Peter as a charming, well-to-do gentleman, who later showed them his psychopathic ways. May 1991. Peter moved around a bit after that, but he eventually makes Hampshire his home, to be close to his son. And indecent assault of two girls. The 4th of August 1993, at his flat in Lee Park, Peter receives a visit by two 14-year-old girls, who was visiting the neighbor, but unfortunately the neighbor wasn't home at the time. They asked if they could wait at his place for a while. But, Peter decides to take advantage of his young guests. He gets them to down a good few shots of vodka. Once intoxicated, Peter proceeds to sexually assault the girls. Stabbing one during the assault. And all this was happening while his son was with him. When he was done, he grabbed his son, turns on the gas, and leaves the girls for dead. Fortunately, the girls survived the attack. Knowing the police would be out looking for him, Peter decides to join a religious group, named the Jesus Fellowship. But that plan fails, and Peter was arrested. The 18th of May 1994. Peter pleads guilty to the crime. And was handed a 14-year jail term. In 2004, Peter completes his debt to society, and was released. Angelica Cook murder. September 2006, Peter was employed as a handyman at St. Patrick's Church, in Glasgow. Using an alias, Peter was known as Pat McLaughlin. But his employment with the church wouldn't last when the body of Angelica Cook was discovered in the church. He ups and leaves with his family without informing anyone. Especially the authorities. After attacking the two 14-year-old girls, Peter was placed on the sex offenders register. He was obligated to inform the authorities of his whereabouts. Angelica, a 23-year-old Polish student, was residing at the church. To help pay for her studies, Angelica also worked at the church as a cleaner. The 24th of September 2006. 
It's believed that Peter attacked Angelica in the garage, where she was beaten and raped. He stabs her, before hiding her under the church floor. It's believed that she was still alive when she was placed beneath the floorboards. Her body was found days later, on 29 September 2006. Followed with Peter's arrest shortly afterwards. Between 23 March and 4 May 2007, at the High Court of Justitary in Edinburgh, Peter receives the guilty verdict, and sentenced to spend life behind bars. For the murder of Angelica Klook. The judge, Lord Menzies, described Peter as, an evil man. June 2007. Peter's Margate home was searched. Shockingly, the bodies of Dinah McNichol, and Vicky Hamilton were found buried in the garden. November 2008. Peter was tried for Vicky Hamilton's murder. The 2nd of December 2008. Peter was convicted of Vicky's murder and was sentenced to serve life behind bars. The judge states, You stand convicted of the truly evil abduction and murder of a vulnerable young girl in 1991, and thereafter of attempting to defeat the ends of justice in various ways over an extended period. Yet again, you have shown yourself to be unfit to live in a decent society. It is hard for me to convey the loathing and revulsion that ordinary people will feel for what you have done. I fixed the minimum period which you must spend in custody, at 30 years. Had it been open to me, I would have made that period run consecutive to the 21-year custodial period that you are already serving. Dinah McNichol murder 18-year-old Dinah McNichol was last seen on 5 August 1991. She and a male friend was hitchhiking home after attending a festival in Hampshire. They catch a break, accepting a ride from an unknown male. Dinah's male companion, jumps off at Junction 8 near Rygate. But Dinah stays in the car with the stranger, never to be seen again. This trial was intended to start sometime in June 2008. But Peter was booked to have surgery around that time. The judge then decides to give Peter time to recover, and postpones the trial. The 14th of December 2009, the trial commenced. The 16th of December, Peter was found guilty for the murder of Dinah McNichol, and was handed his third life sentence. Other links investigated. Operation Anagram would at times assist in disproving Peter's involvement in some of the unsolved murder cases. These are the cases police theorized Peter could have been involved in. April 1971. 37-year-old Dorothea Meachin's remains was discovered in Renfrew, the same area Peter grew up. The 27th of August 1974, remains of an unidentified woman was found wrapped in a sheet, near Norfolk. Her identity remains unknown, but the sheet she was wrapped in caught the detective's attention. Jewelry detectives discover in Peter's possession is believed to belong to Patricia, Patsy, Morris, who disappeared on 16 June 1980. Patricia was a 14-year-old girl, that went missing during a school break. Strangulation is believed to be the cause for her death. The 4th of November 1981, 16-year-old Pamela Hasty was found in the woods. She was raped and strangled to death. The 14th of December 1991, 18-year-old Nicola Payne went missing while walking to her parents' home in Coventry. The 22nd of January 2005, 
The burned remains of 35-year-old Jennifer Keeley, a mother of three, was found in a beach shelter in Eastbourne. She'd been stabbed numerous times. Bible John speculation Peter was believed to be linked to the Bible John killings. A serial killer, that murdered three women in Glasgow, during the 1960s. Peter would be eliminated as a suspect. His DNA was compared with a semen sample of Bible John. The DNA results proved that they not a match. He'd be in and out of hospital for various medical conditions. But only until 8 October 2022. In Edinburgh Royal Infirmary, Peter Tobin passed away, at the age of 76. The 16th of October 2022, his ashes were scattered out at sea.